It is so cold outside right now, so let's talk about space heaters. Now, the thing about these guys is there's really nothing different about them if you're going to go from a $29 version all the way up to a $150 version. They do the same thing. Really, all you're paying for is aesthetics. This kind of looks a little dumpy and just sad or whatever. I mean, like it really is kind of a pitiful looking space heater. But we bought five of them for the price of one of the nice looking ones that has all the marketing that says this one heats up to, a, you know, a, a 1500 square foot house or whatever. I mean, they don't say anything like that. But this one heats up to 400 square feet. And guess what? This one does too. Um, the thing is, when you're looking, <coughs> oh, man, I was trying to do it in one take. I can't do it. Ah, this cough. Whew, if you're dealing with that too, put it in the comments. Anyway, um, what you're looking for is how many watts does your space heater uh, use? What's the electrical consumption of the space heater? Now, on low, they're probably going to be like 750, something like that. And on high, <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Thanks for putting up with that. And on high, 1500 watts. They all put out 1,500 watts. And guess what? 1,500 watts of electricity in is 1,500 watts of heat out. It doesn't matter how fancy the marketing is. They all put out the same amount of heat. Now, there's a difference between the oil-filled radiant heaters and just these ones that have a fan and a coil that blow it out. I don't think there's even a big difference between the, the quartz ones and the, the, electric, uh, the, the metal coil, whatever. It's all marketing. So... Here's the deal. If you are trying to stay warm right now, like the rest of us are, and you're going to down to Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart or Amazon, and you're going, man, I need a space heater, but this one says it does a huge house, and this one says it does a small room. Look at it. It'll say 1,500 watts for both of them. They both do the same thing. Now, if you want one that's going to be a, you know, a, a, a statement, piece in your your living room and you're like oh and people come over look at my amazing space heater that i spent too much money on then by all means buy the expensive one but if you're just gonna pull it out when you need it get yourself four or five of these because eventually they do die and stick them in yourself and when you need to use one use one also <coughs> there it is again dang since you are using 1500 watts, don't plug two into one outlet. Um, make sure that your outlet is capable of doing 1500 watts and that your circuit is capable of it. Um, I've never, I, you're, if your house is wired properly, it's not going to be an issue. But over time, if you let one run for a very long time, you're going to end up maybe getting some discoloration uh, on your outlet. So just be smart about it. Make sure that it's not getting too hot at the plug. You'll be good to go. <coughs> Man, it's your last day for preparation. If you guys are in this early January storm coming through, I hope and pray that we don't get the ice that they say they are, that we're going to get here in East Texas. But if so, we'll make it through. Hope you guys stay warm. Uh, leave your comments in the uh, down below on uh, you know what you're doing to prepare right now. You know, are you going to do it, make a mad dash to get more space heaters or what? All right, talk to you in the next one.